Hey, Tubi friends, welcome to a brand new episode of Tales from Tubi. For those of you new to Old Man Brad, Tales from Tubi is a series that I do where I take my love of Tubi and my love of horror films and I pack them together in this fun little package. And every movie that I talk about here is streaming on Tubi at time of recording. This week, it is just me. And I will be talking about the to be original hashtag no filter. Before we get started, any of my Cincinnati friends come out September 15th to the Esquire Theater. I'm going to be hosting a screening of Satanic Hispanics. This is a anthology film with five stories, all directed by Latino directors. I've seen the movie. I love the movie. It was fantastic. Come out. See it on a big screen. It is so much fun. And anyone who knows me knows I love anthology films. But yes, come out to the Esquire Theater, September 15th, 9.30 p.m. And let's watch Satanic Hispanics. It's time to dig into hashtag no filter. It is directed by Michael Dupre. As the number one social influencer at her high school, Anna is still discovering the advantages and drawbacks of this new status. Home alone, she's determined to gain as many followers as possible, but when the line between real and virtual is getting blurry, the night becomes bloody. It is written and directed by Michael Dupre. It stars Hannah McIver as Anna, Jasmine DeAud as Lauren, Priya Blackburn as Mina, many others. This is a movie that really digs into that social media side of the world where it really sets up that world of you're trying to become an influencer and you're always obsessed about how many followers, obsessed about your comments, obsessed about everything else and kind of what it does to you. There's a comment made in the movie about a selfie always tells two stories. There's the story that you see, and then the story on the inside. As for a social media influencer, someone could be totally different outside, on the screen, what they're presenting compared to what's really going on or what's really happening in their life. And and that's kind of a horror movie in itself. And this movie digs into a whole bunch of, I'm going to keep it pretty spoiler-free here, but this movie digs into a whole bunch of the horrors of that and how people treat you, how you treat people. Overall, I did enjoy this movie. There at the beginning, I I got a little annoyed with the character of Anna after she, I mean, it starts off with her kind of teaming up with like the big, huge horror influencer. Like he does these scare setups to post online. Very it really made me think of the movie Deadstream that has a streamer that does the same thing where he does these scares and that's what his followers expect and things start to happen. I actually enjoyed Deadstream more than Hashtag No Filter, but Hashtag No Filter was still very enjoyable. He said I did not at first like, well, almost throughout, you don't like the character of Anna. She's obviously completely full of herself. Ultimately, it's it's all about her and forget everybody else which you know the movie that's kind of the intent of this film is to kind of make you dislike her for what she is doing how she is treating people and how it's all about the clicks and the watches and the the followers and and everything else and then you have like her best friend lauren who is kind of on the other side of it where she is She's trying to be her friend, trying to treat her right. And Lauren has other friends that is the extreme opposite of that to where she's not a follower at first. And she questions everything she does. And it's like, why are you always doing it for a, for the followers and, and the pictures and everything else? One scene, actually, I really enjoyed. This isn't a spoiler, but one scene that I found funny and probably very true to what people post online 
there's a scene at the beginning where Anna's mom makes her breakfast. Anna takes a picture of her food so she can post it, and it's something with pineapple, and, and her mom makes a comment about, you didn't eat your pineapple, and Anna's like, well, I hate pineapple, and she's like, why did you make up this dish? And she was like, the colors, like the pineapple just makes everything look better for the picture or for anything else. And her mom just kind of gets really upset with her about it. And she's like, what? And I'm just, you know, it's about my pictures and my followers and my likes. So it really sets up that dislike for Anna. As we go, things start to get a little twisted with things that are being posted. There are some posts that come across as it, it, it she didn't do it. And then people start to die. There's some twists of how and why everything is happening. And once it finally gets going, I really did enjoy it. It was creepy. It was really good. There was a lot of moments in this film where I was like, man, this this would probably be a really good short film. I feel like some scenes, I felt like it was very much extending a short film out and come to find out this was based on a short film short film of the same name hashtag no filter and i do want to go check out the short film to kind of see how they they did everything in that compared to the movie but yeah there were a few scenes that kind of felt like okay this is kind of dragging out a little too long or you ultimately just kind of want to get to the point but i still did enjoy the movie if I had one big complaint about it, I have this complaint about a lot of horror films when they use CG blood. And there are a few scenes in this where it uses it and it uses it to kind of splash at the camera to try to block some stuff. And that would be my biggest complaint with it. But other than that, like it starts slow. You have to, you have to give it some time to kind of get into it. You're not going to like Anna. There'll be some twists you, you'll think along the way, like, who's the killer? What's going on? Is this a game? Is this this, that? And when you find out what it is, you're like, oh, okay, this is pretty cool. Hopefully they didn't ruin it at the end, which they don't. But yeah, I will give this a mild recommend. Give it probably at the low end of a three out of five. Go check out the Tubi original, hashtag no filter. Well, that'll do it for another Tales from Tubi. This is a short one. I'll be back soon with more episodes of Old Man Brad. I do have another Tubi original, Amityville Curse, that I have to do. I put a poll out online. So if you follow me on Twitter or threads, follow me on Twitter at, at Tubi Tuesday or threads at Old Man Brad. I put what Tubi original should I do for my next Tales from Tubi? and hashtag no filter and the amityville curse tied so i will do both of them look for the amityville episode coming soon just make sure you subscribe so you never miss any episode that i put out over here at old man brad snuggle up in that blanket turn off the lights because it's okay to be scared we'll talk to you later everybody <laughs>